Well, hi everybody. This is Terry with um, Your Kind of Creative. And today I am going to do a rainbow pour. This is for my wonderful grandson, Christian. We asked him what his favorite colors were and he went from blue to, to greens and then he ended up with wanting a rainbow. I did an earlier video and with some football colors that my great nephew likes and he was watching that and he wanted to be my great nephew because he wanted to have his colors poured so that's what I'm doing today I hope that that you like it I am basically I am using apple barrel paints um not black but I'm showing you the apple barrel um I have got an apple barrel red blue, purple, orange, yellow, and green, and I have mixed them all with um, Floetrol and water, and I have added a squirt of silicone spray to each one, and I'm going to do this a little different today. Um, I am going to puddle, but I am going to puddle in these rings. This is an experiment that I'm going to try and see how that works out. So I'm going to start my pour with a white. Um, I wanted a base white on the bottom. So I'm just going to pour some white out. My white has um, flow trial in it, and I also have added um, Liquitex into my white. And just going, I got to use my hands and spread this around. Just want a little coat or something for that to flow on. Okay. That's good. My hands. Okay, now let's see. These rings are just from your top of your um, canning jars. So I think I'm gonna go the big size down. We'll see how this works out. Um, let's see what colors to start with. These are all your primary colors. And I'll start with red. Pour a little red in this one. I'm just going to start layering these colors and see where it takes us. Just puddling them in. It's amazing when you just use primary colors to see th the different effects. Because they blend and make different colors and And you just don't know what the outcome's going to be. I think that's why we all like this technique of painting is because each one is always different.
I also got up, uh, I have some glitter paint in a blue. I'm going to be adding. I'm sure that when I lift this up, there's just going to be way more paint than that's needed to cover this whole canvas. But I do tend to overpour. I tried to not make as much paint when I made it up. You can already see a rainbow effect in these colors here. Can't wait to lift these lids. getting pretty full. <laughs> I have a sheet of wax paper catching my drips, so we'll see if I can get some skins out of this extra paint that's going to run down the sides here. And I'm just going to add a little bit more glitter. The glitter tends to get lost in these paintings a little bit, but we'll see. Alright. Um, not sure if I'm going to use air. I do need to plug my heat gun in. I'll give you a second. Alright, let's make sure that this is still recording. Closer up picture here. Alright, are we ready for this? I'm not going to be able to lift them all at once, but we'll see. Let's start with this one. <gasps> I'm liking it. And this one. And this one. Just have to go for it. Let's see. I think I'll go this way. Get some lacing in there. Move that middle part. Oh, I have that glitter is showing up pretty good on this side. Wow, I'm really 
really liking this. Get some of my corners here. Let's take the, I don't, I don't have a torch, but I'm going to take the heat gun to it for a minute. I'm bringing out a little, some of the little cells. This I'm liking a lot right through here. I love all this lacing that's going on here. I want to tilt it back just a little bit. I don't want to. I don't want to lose that. Okay. There we have it. It's for my little bugaboo, Christian. I hope you like your painting. It does have a lot of rainbow effects in it, kiddo. And, um, good color choices. And this just turned out beautiful. Let's see if I, I'll go in a little bit. I certainly appreciate you watching my videos, everybody. This has been so fun doing this type of painting. And I really enjoy sharing it with everybody. Um, please subscribe to my channel. And click that like button. And I hope that you'll um, leave me some comments. And I hope you all have a wonderful day.